Thanks, that. Thanks. Wow, there's a crowd here tonight. Hey, I like this. Let, let's get applause going from Portland Famous. We'll start here at least a little bit. Jesus, this is the meter. Portland Famous. Nationally Famous. Internationally Famous. A legend. Yeah. Thank you. Dave, thank you so much for being here. It is always a pleasure having you on the show. Uh, we, we, we are friends. Yes, we are. <laughs> Man, those acting classes have really paid off. Men. As men, though. We're men friends. Yes, actually, we have t-shirts that say men friends, (laughs) which really confuse people. Um, We uh, we got to hang out the other day, and we were watching the Blazer game together. We watched the Blazers beat the Warriors. The Warriors did not come out and play. That was a great game. That was such a great game. And here's what I loved. This was kind of the same position... Uh, you were on a couch. I was like, kind of in the, the love seat. And and my favorite thing about coming over to Dave's is he's just like he's got this brand new penthouse uh, that you live in. You're on the twenty. I'm not gonna say where, but the, I do. Yeah, you're in this new penthouse, twenty uh, seventh floor. He's got like three hundred sixty degree view. Beautiful place. But when you go into his place, and he tells you when you go in, he goes, "This this piece of art right here, half a million, no big deal." <laughs> yeah, 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 right. You did. You did that. <laughs> not exactly. You did that shit. No, no. And I was like, I was like, okay, Dave, see you later. <laughs> yeah, actually, he was like, yeah, half mil, no big deal. And I was like, there was bubble wrap around it. And as a comedian, I was like, bubbles, funny popping, um, which is also true. But you, you, you were just. All you, you cared about was the bubbles. I love the bubbles. Yeah. Well, I'm a comedian. I'm an idiot. Um, so thank you, mom. Um, so she said, do what you want. Be an idiot. Uh, now I make a living doing it. And and so um, you were there, you know, and you just had like your cutoff. Like T-shirt and shorts? I was, out. I was going to work out because you were late. I was going to just work out and watch the game. It was Valentine's Day, Dave. I dressed up for you. Why could you be... How are you late on Valentine's Day? You know, Dave, I just try to be pretty for you and all I get is... Go- but my, my favorite part was you were like on the couch like this, like watching the Blazers. I totally, I, I totally wasn't. You were! You had a leg up? I just couldn't even believe it. it was, is that why your eyes were... Right down here. <laughs> you were smuggling grapes. You were smuggling grapes. Ah, grapes. Um, you're the most famous person I know. Well, you're the you're, most famous person. You're really, you're hard up, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but but I want I want to give them the the real thing. We were talking about this the other day, and you said the one thing I want. I know we're gonna screw around. You come on the show. I, you got such. You're so quick. You got such a great sense of humor. You've got many a story to tell. But you said you wanted to talk about. How, as, as someone with influence, uses that. And you wanted to talk about the exponential effect of positivity. And uh, I wanted to give you the floor for that, the people. The, the exponential effect of, uh, you know, turning your life around. You know, you know, I've seen it happen so many times. One person, you, you lose a bad person and you gain a good person. That's what happened to me, right? And it's happened to a lot of other people that I've seen. And each time it happens... It, it makes a huge difference because the person who turns their, their life around for being this jackass who draws, who drags on society. Are you subtweeting me right now? Is this a, are you talking about me? I'm talking about you. Okay. But, <laughs> I'm trying to get it together. So, so there's the bad and here's the good. That's, <laughs> uh, but, you know, once, once somebody figures it out and they, you know, like I did, you want other people to do it too. And um, that's, that's the exponential thing because once you, once you do that, you want to share that with people and other people do it, they want to share it with people. And um, it makes the world a better place. And I just wanted to add to that because we were sort of riffing on this idea the other day. And what he's, so, you know, I, 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 I like the idea. It's not just you turning yourself in to 1v1, when you turn yourself into a better person and you try harder, your influence that goes out from going negative and the negative influence on your friends and family and society and community, it, it's exponential and it keeps going. 
And, and the voice you gained that, that Dave has in his second career after Bread as being a speaker and, and talking about the power of positivity, I think is really fantastic. And that web gets out there. And I, and I, and I think, go ahead, go ahead. And we can really do that. And I just want to say, and I just want to say, as the most interesting times doing this show has been in the past, well, I don't know, 15 months. Uh, we played on a certain Tuesday that was really difficult. And the idea of voting, speaking your mind, and uh, making a positive influence to make change is exponential if you want it to be. So let's keep doing that. Let's not talk it, let's not talk it, let's do it. Get, get off social media, let's go to people face to face and let's, let's, let's engage in discussions. And I'm not even discussing, talking discussions across the, the lines, just the people that are just around you, whoever they are, whatever they believe. And you know what someone told, said to me that I thought was great? It was uh, Matt Dos Santos from the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union. And he said, if you want to connect with people, stop talking rhetoric, stop talking policy, talk about what's in your heart. And I know that that sounds like hyper hyperbole, but talk to them and just say, this hurts me. I want to see people treated well. And maybe maybe that will make the difference. And that's, that's just all I want to say. So, well, very lucky to learn from people like you and my friend Matt from the ACLU. So thank you. When you talked about that, that was really, that was really uh, exciting. So thank you for the, the power of positivity. Um, so your first job, Bread, second job, inspiring people. I want to talk about other careers now that you don't have to work a regular job. Okay. I do work my ass off. I know that you do work your ass off. I saw the guns, man. They're, they're, they are, those are the only, only guns I believe in are right here, yeah. The Second Amendment stands for the, all right. Don't do that. <laughs> um, I, I think I, there's something, because I'm gonna move, and I, I'm an entertainer, and you're an entertainer, and I was thinking, you've got that voice, you've got that macho man Randy Savage voice. Like when you get on that mic, yeah, say, say something, say, say, oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah, brother. And I, I do not have that. I'm like, whoa, gee whiz, Dave, let me feel your arms. Um, but I want to propose to you, not what you're thinking, hand in marriage, but being a pro wrestling duo. I think we should be a pro wrestling duo, and here, here's what it is. You'd be the Baker Man. And I'd be Patty Cake. <laughs> patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. And then you'd throw like a lead loaf at him. <laughs> and I'd dance around and sing that song. Men in tights. Uh, it doesn't do it for me. <laughs> oh, well, I thought I was going to get rich real quick.